piece of wisdom I've learned over the years is when I make a comparison between things, between stats, whatever, it helps me to understand the issues. And this is what Robert Dick Wilson did with the accuracy of the spelling of the kings in the Bible compared to other lists of kings compiled in history. For example, the librarian at Alexandria in 200 BC, one of the great experts on literature, he compiled a catalog of the kings of Egypt. There were 38 kings in that catalog. Do you know what now? Only four of those kings are even recognizable. Not only recognizable, in the Bible, there's 29 kings, and every single one of them is spelled right. Look at the kings of Assyria. The, again, the librarian of Alexandria made a list of all the kings of Assyria, and only one is recognizable. You wouldn't even know it was a list of kings if it wasn't stated at the top of the list. And of that one that is recognizable, it's not even spelled correctly. Look at Ptolemy. He drew up a register of the 18 kings of Babylon, his own country. 18 kings. Not one of them was spelled correctly. Dr. Robert Dick Wilson makes this observation. He said, look at the 29 biblical kings in the Bible. They were from Egypt, Israel, Moab, Damascus, Tyre, Babylon, Assyria, Persia, from 10 different countries. Every single one of them had the right name in the Bible, the right country, and in right chronological order, and they were spelled correctly. This is where Robert Dick Wilson finally concluded that the Hebrew texts that it should have been transmitted accurately by copyists through so many centuries, four to about, say, two to four thousand years, is a phenomena unequaled in the history of literature. If nothing else, the comparison shows the accuracy of the Jewish scribes in copying the scriptures. For a simple reason, God wanted us to be able to have confidence when we open the scripture, to be able to say, thus saith the Lord. I thank God for them. I could never have that much patience to copy scriptures the way they did.